Hello everyone, I am Diabetti from RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, and today I'm going to be transforming into Dr. Frankenfurter from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, looky there, thank you. First question is, the best Halloween costume that I've ever done. Me and my group of friends, a bunch of gay people, of course, always had a theme. So our freshman year of college, believe it or not, I'm not just saying this because I'm here doing this, we did Rocky Horror as our theme. I dressed up as Columbia, though. I was not the character I might be giving you today. Daya, do you have time to sew or make your own drag anymore? So I'm on the road a lot these days, which I'm very, very thankful for, but that also means I don't wanna carry around a 70 pound sewing machine in my suitcase. On season 14, I made, I wanna say about 75% of the outfits I brought. That partially comes from being a poor, broke, young adult straight out of college and having no money. And that also comes from the fact that that's how I fell in love with the drag. I used to go to thrift stores a lot with my drag family and find the most heinous, ugly outfits and upcycle them and repurpose them, make them something cool. Next question. What do you do before shows to make you less nervous? You guys, I get bubble guts so bad. The most nerve wracking part of Drag Race would definitely have to be any comedy or stand up challenge. By the way, if anyone's gonna go to Drag Race, it is very important to know that Rue's favorite thing and the thing that will make her love you most is to be funny, make her laugh and, um, I did not do that very well. <laughs> so I just bit my tongue and I rolled with the punches. No poop jokes though, she doesn't like poop jokes. One tip I would always give to anyone wanting to start drag or try drag out, you don't need like all the fancy products. I literally stayed with the same eyeshadow palette for probably like three years. It was a sugar pill palette that I stole from a friend. So I didn't get that at a drugstore, but I did use the Revlon, maybe it was like a true match foundation, but I used to steal them. So I didn't spend money on it at all. <laughs> I don't want my facial hair popping through because I know y'all on Twitter will read me, so. <laughs> Favorite snatch game performance of all time. The one that immediately stands out to me is season six, Adora Delano as Anna Nicole Smith. I also really enjoy terrible snatch game performances, like Alyssa Edwards doing Katy Perry. Have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, well, never. Or, um, <laughs> Georgia's doing Alana Glazer from Broad City. She put the broad in Broad City. So funny, and honestly, I send her that meme of her going like this. I send it to her all the time because I think it is not only so cute, but so freaking hilarious. And she also, let's clear this up. People thought I was copying off of Bosco. I was not copying off of her answers. Have you been copying all of her answers? Well, I can't. Can read, so no, real, I haven't. It's not my fault she was sitting right next to me and wrote really big. <laughs> All right. Were there gonna be any other talents you were gonna do for the talent show? Please don't remind me of that episode. I had a really hard time coming up with my talent, as you could tell. Thinking back on it, if I could change or redo my talent, I still wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> and you know what, that's okay, because I think I grew a lot after being sent home that first episode from the talent show. And I know I got a lot of criticism about being really harsh and things of that nature, but honey, I was in a competition. This was a game show. If you're going to the bingo hall and not expecting to walk away with a free McDonald's gift card and a gas voucher for $25 at the local come and go, then baby, why are you even there? You know what I'm saying? So how did you establish your drag brand 
and how do you determine style hair and makeup? So I know that I say that I kind of switch up my drag a lot, but I do think there is always kind of this undertone of a punk aesthetic. So for those of you that might not know my drag family, Crystal Method is my drag mentor, one of my best friends. So because me and Crystal get compared a lot, I would say the thing that makes us the most different is I'm sexy. No, I'm just kidding. I always compare it to a rainbow and I feel like I fall on the cooler end of the spectrum and she falls on the warmer end. Okay, let's do this one. If I had to pick one of my fellow season 14 queens to put me into drag, who would I pick? I feel like if I wanted anyone to put me in drag, it would be Jasmine. And I say that because Jasmine, I think has had one of the largest glow ups post drag race. And she looks incredible. She looked great then, but like she is immaculate now. Take a look at these other questions. Why not? Did I buy anything nice with my dragonfly money? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Therapy, I went to therapy. I didn't have health insurance. I, I spent it all on therapy. Cornbread did give me that thousand dollars after I ate that dragonfly. At the time, I had just lost health insurance, not to be a downer. Ugh, no one wants to talk about this kind of stuff, but I'm going to, because it's a very real thing, especially for artists and um, people that are their own business. So thanks, Cornbread. Thank you for making me a better version of myself, I guess, I guess. Don't give her that much credit. Another one. Ooh, most out of my comfort zone look that I've ever done. I think, so we were nominated for, I think like 11 Emmys this year for RuPaul's Drag Race. We got to attend the Emmys, which was incredible and a wonderful experience. One thing that they asked all the girls from season 14 to do was to recreate a look from an Emmy nominated series. And I chose the new Hulu series, Pam and Tommy, and I recreated Barb Wire, which is an old Pamela Anderson movie. It was really as I kind of had this shift in my drag where I started trying to play with looking more feminine, trying to figure out what Daya would look like if she were possibly like a real woman. I had to emulate Pam Anderson, but not Pam Anderson, Lily James as Pam Anderson. So it was like super meta, Daya Betty as Lily James as Pam Anderson. So it was a whole thing, but it ended up being very successful. And um, you should visit my website because there's some merch that's about to drop with that on there. I think it's really fun to see drag queens up close. The best up close makeup I've seen on any performer ever is Carrie Colby. Her face is a literal, like, it looks like she's face tuned in real life. And I'm so jealous. She is literally one of the most beautiful humans I've ever met inside and out. How dare she? <laughs> Oh my God, I was literally just talking about this in the hallway. What's my favorite Pop-Tart flavor? Did you guys just put this in here? I was just talking about this outside. Okay, so growing up, I ate Pop-Tarts religiously. I think it's a Midwestern thing, I don't know. My all-time favorite when I was younger was the cinnamon Pop-Tarts. I dislike them now. I don't like them now. I don't know why. It's probably because I ate them like so much as a kid. Ooh, if Diabetti was a Pop-Tart flavor, ugh. <laughs> Could you imagine if you just bit into a Pop-Tart that looked like a classic strawberry Pop-Tart and then the inside tasted like soy sauce? <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm good to look at and then when you bite into me, you're like, ugh, not again. It's all that sodium, all that saltiness. I'm gonna take all this powder off and do just a few last touches before we get into the final look. Who is the shadiest queen I know? Crystal Method. That's a big surprise, baby, but I learned all my tips and tricks from her. Just remember that. <laughs> our group chat of our drag family, we would always send you know things about what was happening on the show. And the J-Lo runway. I have a nice big booty. So I'm feeling sexy and I'm giving you Betty from the block. Trying to emulate J-Lo on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race without really ever doing a feminine drag look before did not work out in my favor. And Crystal let me know that. She told me I looked bad. 
Crystal just told me I looked bad. And I was like, you're right, <laughs> it really was. Okay, now that the makeup is on my face and looking fairly fabulous, I am going to get into the full look. <laughs> Here is my final Dr. Frankenfurter look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And what was so funny is Maddie Morphosis, my Midwest sister, she was the one freaking out the most about me eating a bug. I'm like, why are you freaking out? Also, you're from Arkansas. Like, isn't this what you have for breakfast every day? <laughs>